Hi, I'm here today to bring you the latest fashion tech news that you need to know. My name is Anina and I'm the CEO of 360 Fashion Network. Before we start, if you want to receive this news roundup regularly, then hit that like button and smash that follow as we will be bringing you this news every week to keep you in the know of the top stories we think are important. Alright, first up, Elon Musk bought Twitter. Musk has said he supports letting people change what their tweets say, a proposal that has stirred a heated debate among academics, journalists and other heavy users of the platform. He supports placing Twitter's algorithm on GitHub, a site popular with programmers for sharing computer code. Combating the proliferation of bots on Twitter, fake accounts that are programmed to respond to tweets on certain topics, is another change Musk favors. News Source, NPR Sokin, a payments provider, unveiled a 60 seconds video of its metaverse community, which is designed to process e-commerce payments in the virtual world. It is becoming evident that brands and big retailers are starting to experiment with virtual reality concepts and are open to the idea of the metaverse. The video highlighted a virtual store featuring the company's partners such as his Monaco Football Club and displaying virtual clothing and physical goods. News Source, Altfi Amazon is opening a real-world clothing store, called Amazon Style, with high-tech fitting rooms. The first location, based in the Los Angeles suburb of Glendale, California. The stores will feature women's and men's apparel, shoes and accessories from a mix of well-known and emerging brands at affordable prices. Customers will rely heavily on their smartphone while they shop the store, using it to view additional colors and sizes as well as notify store employees to put an item in their fitting room. Touch screen displays will be installed in the fitting rooms so shoppers rate items or request different styles or sizes, according to Amazon. Each item is then dropped off in a secure closet in the fitting room, which unlocks after a store associate delivers the clothing. Shoppers will be able to use Amazon's palm scanning system, Amazon One, to pay during checkout. News Source, CNBC Tech and Fashion In 2022 the most simple tech wins the day, we transfer. Mark Jacobs closed New York Fashion Show 2022 with his runway line via we transfer. There are no show notes, no hint at what ideas drive the collection, not even an indication of whether the name runway 2022 means that this is the 10 look collection we'll see from Jacobs this year. No 3D renderings, no metaverse, no NFTs and not even a video. The photos do capture the moment with a stark black and white palette, mixed with denim, shredded strips of fabric making up long sleeve tops, in a post-apocalyptic style. At an April 2020 Vogue conference, Jacobs said, We certainly won't be showing it that way, very few people came to New York, very few people showed in New York. The idea of everybody getting on a plane, coming to a show. From models to makeup artists to editors to journalists that's just unrealistic to think about right now. News Source, Fashionista A combination of AI and robotics might help people recover from spinal cord injuries. A Rutgers-led team has used the technology to stabilize an enzyme, chondroitinase ABC, that can degrade scar tissue from spinal cord injuries and encourage tissue regeneration. Where the enzyme only lasted for a few hours at body temperatures, it now lasts over a week, enough to have a more substantial effect. News Source, Engadget. And that's it for today. If you want to get the full top 10 fashion tech news items of the week, check out our new podcast 360 Fashion or go to 360fashion.net podcast or search for it on your favorite podcast platform. Don't forget to subscribe so that you won't miss our latest episode. Get to subscribe.